Hey everybody, it's Jason and welcome back to the 3D Printing Corner. So today we're going to be talking about Zero PLA. I've been printing with this stuff for a while now. Um, stay tuned if you want to find out if it's any good. So like I said, we're going to be talking about Zero PLA. Um, this stuff is a very affordable PLA. You can find it on Amazon. Um, it comes in a really nice box. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about the box is they give all the different types of materials listed out here on the side, but they don't check which one it actually is. Um, so if I didn't know this was a PLA for sure, it might take me a little bit to figure it out. Um, it does have the window, so you can at least see what color it is. Uh, let's look at the spool here. Um, so it comes on a very sturdy spool, uh, and it's a clear spool. I love clear spools. Uh, they allow you to see how much filament you've actually used. Those of you that have been on the channel for a while know one of my pet peeves is spools that only have one tie off. Uh, you can waste a whole wind if you want to tie it off on the spool. This one has four. One, two, three, four. So the most you're going to end up using to wrap off your filament is a quarter of a wind, which is fantastic. Uh, spools are meant to hold your filament. That's what they should be able to do. Uh, it also does have the printing instructions on the side. Uh, that's a must. I can't stand when one doesn't. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see how it prints. Alright guys, so here's actually a little closer look at that spool. Um, you can see all the tie-off points there. Um, you can see it's got a nice small center hole which works really well for most printers. And it does have the instructions printed on at least one side. It does not have them on both. Um, but after my experience with the Cheetah, I'm pretty happy it has it on at least one. So let's go ahead and take a look at the print. So here is the initial maker coin. So one of the things I discovered right away, uh, this stuff does not like heat. Um, not like your normal PLA. This prints pretty cold. Uh, it's pretty close to that PX Malian uh, that we reviewed here maybe a couple weeks ago. Um, it prints, this was done at 195 on a 55 degree bed and it actually peeled up a little bit and it, it got too hot. I mean you can actually see the little black spots in there. Those are actually where the filament got stuck because it was so sticky from being too warm. Um, on the back on the first layer, so it's a great first layer but you can see those black spots. That's where the filament was actually getting too sticky from being too hot and sticking to the hot end and essentially cooking until it burned. Other than that, it actually turned out a really nice first layer. Um, so what I did discover after printing with this for a while is it likes anywhere from 185 to 190. And then to get it to stick and not uh, pop the corners at all, I had to up it to about 65 degrees on the bed. Uh, 185 to 190 is really cool for PLA. And then 65 on that bed is actually a little warm. Um, but it's what works for it. So if uh, you guys want to try this out, that's definitely where I would start is right about that 190 and then maybe 60 to 65 on your bed. So this was the next thing I printed. It actually prints like this. Uh, it's a phone stand. My wife asked specifically for a phone stand where she could plug in her phone while it was sitting on the stand. So I printed it in this orientation. I wanted to see specifically how well did support material come out of this? Um, so all of these holes here, including this little divot here in the front, everything was full of support material. And that support material popped right away. Um, there was hardly any trimming had to be done in here to, to get rid of and clean it up a little bit. Otherwise, it worked out perfect. And for those of you that have been on the channel for a while, you know these uh, little black feet here are the Saint Smart TPU that I absolutely love. Um, I will link that right here, if I can point, I will link that right here, and you guys can take a look at the review for that, too. Um, it's my favorite TPU. Uh, but otherwise, this stuff, it, it printed beautifully. This was printed at 187 with a 65 degree bed. Uh, no raft or no brim at all. Uh, just a skirt to prime the nozzle. And it, it printed fantastic. Um, this stuff is actually kind of cool. It's got almost a little bit of a translucence to it. Not like an actual transparent or translucent PLA. 
um, just enough that the light kind of shines through it. It gives it kind of an interesting look because you can see a little bit of the infill inside it. Um, I suppose if you did thicker walls and thicker top and bottom layers, you could probably eliminate that if you wanted to, but I kind of like the way it looks. So um, I've done a few other prints. I've done some benchies and things like that with it, and I've been really successful with this stuff. I've been very happy with how it worked. So uh, let's go ahead and let's, let's get my final thoughts on that. So there you have it. Zero PLA. It definitely falls into that budget category. It's a really affordable PLA. It's an easy PLA to print with. It doesn't require the real high temps on the extruder. Um, it does require a heated bed. Uh, they say it doesn't. It's PLA. I know technically you don't need a heated bed for PLA. I could not get this to stick to a cold bed for anything. Um, it took 60 to 65 degrees before it would stick. Other than that, it's a great PLA. It would be a good first PLA. Um, it's really affordable and uh, definitely it's a budget. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put some links down below. Now Amazon actually categorizes it out in one entry for each color. Uh, so I'll pick a few of the primary colors. I'll put them down there for you. Uh, if you guys are liking the content, click right here and uh, there's going to be a subscribe button. Uh, if you want to know when new videos come out, ring that bell. Uh, otherwise, if you guys just want some insight into what I'm working on here in the corner or what, uh, what videos are coming out and just keep up to date on what's going on, follow me right here on Twitter and Instagram and you'll see updates almost daily. Uh, so otherwise, I'm Jason. This is the 3D Printing Corner. Everybody have a good night.